and um, welcome to <laughs> to this live stream. I will wait and see if there is some of you guys tapping in before I start bloodline. <laughs> So, I promised to talk a little bit about, <laughs> hey bro, so I promised to talk a little bit about this energy going on right now, and I don't know if you guys are, were feeling it, but there was this shift around the new moon, and <laughs> we were going, it, it was kind of this upgoing stream, um, stepping into the shift and the shift is actually it is actually just old patterns presenting itself it's old fear presenting itself it's old pain popping up just to see how we now are reacting upon it um it doesn't feel heavy in the same form as it did like last year last year was quite rough for many people and those who had to go through their egos <laughs> um, went on a deep journey and from the perspective I hold then this year it feels lighter it feels like what once happened <laughs> we will realize will not happen now but our body has memories our nerve system has memories and these memories seems to come up in this time <laughs> yeah that explains a lot so what is actually happening what is happening is our body is talking to us what is happening is our nerve system are communicating with us it's it's reacting upon old fears old traumas old um memories and what we can use it for in this now is not to go inside of ourselves and think oh seriously am i not over it yet but it's to go inside of ourselves and realize yes i am over this yes i am i went through it and by doing that by pre be presented for it in this form we can now be more conscious about it in a form where we can tell our body system in a form where we can tell our nerve system that i know how you're reacting right now you're tensing up but the truth is whatever you feared happened last year or whenever in your past it will not happen now because everything is moving and this is what i want to tell you guys and this is what important the important message today is everything is constantly moving. What you went through last year, what you went through three years ago, you are no longer the same person. You are no longer on the same vibrational state. So whatever happened you fear might will happen again. <laughs> it will never happen exactly the same. And when we let go of the fear, we are not a vibrationally match to what's that situation anyway. <laughs> so it's always this double circle kind of thing. Oh no, I'm so afraid it's gonna happen. Oh no, I can feel it. Ah, uh, see, I told you it would happen. Well, so if you actually allowed yourself to just believe in yourself, believe how far you came, believe how far you are, it will not happen. It would not happen because you are moving constantly like water 70 percent of your body is water that is containing this memory it's containing this vibration and it's moving within you it's moving with you so like water it never stands still you never stand still so it's for you guys who are feeling stuck who are feeling locked up you never stand still <coughs> sorry you are never standing still. If you feel you're standing still, if your body is reacting in resistance, and then you know that you are holding yourself back. There's only one person who can solve this. It is you, my friend. You. You're the one. 
you got the key. Go inside of yourself, feel inside of yourself. Why do I feel stuck? What happened? What pumps up? <laughs> um, what I experience in this time is like I told you guys about this nerve memories and um, I had this very, very <laughs> tight uh, out, outer leg, I don't know what you call it, like the RTR band or something. It's uh, I'll show you. So you got a leg and here on the outside it's uh, quite tense. So I was tapping into what was going on and and of course it's the physical fear like oh no what if I break then I cannot move as much as I truly want to but this is just the, the surface fear. What actually is underneath is emotionally memories, it's emotionally uh, patterns and for me, when I asked into it, it was fear, of course, and fear in insecurity. It was a fear in my self-esteem. Um, and sometimes I tend to become really, really nervous. I don't know what is up and down. I feel completely wrong in this world and I don't know... Uh, how to act or react and I really want to do normal but I just cannot do normal I can only do what I do and be what I am <laughs> you know so that sometimes uh, it's quite messy and I um, I wanted to understand why um, why my body was reacting because to be honest I am totally okay with being confused. I'm totally okay with being a mess. I really don't mind uh, that I'm insecure and that I'm really, really shy sometimes. I even find the beauty in all these emotionally outbrush. I find it really amazing that we as a human can experience all these contrasts within ourselves. So. I was asking myself, why do I feel physically? Why do I feel like it's blocking me? And uh, I got this dream about my childhood. Um, and in my childhood, there's this person yelling at me uh, a lot and out loud. And I could just feel in that dream how I became smaller and smaller within myself. I could feel in that dream how I were more and more convinced that the words coming out of that mouth were what I were, was what I am. And the last thing happened before I woke up were uh, this person saying, you know what, you're getting really choppy. You should see if you can eat less. And I was like, what? You, but, but I'm like weighing nothing, you know? So I woke up and, and I had this whole feeling in my body of this lower self-esteem in this way where, where I just felt completely wrong and completely too big to my own body and insecure, didn't want to look in the mirror kind of thing. Um, and then I realized, wow. This is what it is. When when these thoughts in my mind takes over, when this state of insecurity take over, where I no longer feel that I am worthy to be within myself, uh, then my body starts reacting. And it was quite um, beautiful to see, because then you can become conscious about this is something that comes from your past. It's, it's centered within your childhood. It's it's a pattern which have been going on. And hi, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's not who you are. And one thing is that you know it as a person. You know it even emotionally. I know it emotionally. Um, but my nerve system still have this memory of this tense feeling of this fear of this person um, yelling in my head. It's, it, this is what my body remembers. So now by re-realizing that and re-realizing that that belongs to the past, it's not who I am, uh, I could embrace it in a new form. I could 
be thankful for where I am today. I could be grateful for how much more balanced I feel and how great I actually feel inside of this body. <laughs> um, how I developed from where I was to where I am today and um, that this feeling of those voices no longer have control over the who I am. So it was it was really a beautiful moment and the reason I share it with you guys is to give you an example of how to deal with it when it comes up. It's so important that we understand it's it's not to hold us down, it's not to bring us back to the feeling of not being there yet, it's to truly see how far we came, it's to truly see how far that we are and um, allow ourselves to embrace every single moment of that journey. Um, yeah. <laughs> and find the beauty in vulnerability. Find the beauty within every state that you contain. Find the beauty within every emotion, every feeling that you can feel. Find the beauty in every side that you have. So by embracing everything you are and not suppressing anything at all, you become one within yourself. You don't have to fight yourself anymore because you love yourself. It's okay to be messy. It's okay to be a mess. I love it. <laughs> I truly love it. I am such a mess. <laughs> Seriously, I fuck everything up. This is so cool. Um, but I don't mind. It's just a part of the who I am. So I'm going to see if you guys wrote something I should read. Got to run to copy shop. Copy shop. Well, enjoy. Um, and Selena, you're so very welcome. Everything. Uh, yes. Um, do, do, let's see. Tatiana, I love you too. Um, <laughs> this next year, I will make a tour in Denmark and I will let you know which month. I, I don't know which month it's gonna be yet, but I will let you know. So guys, um, yeah, do you wanna ask something while we're here or you have something to add? Then uh, let me know.